using goal seek. So goal seek can be used to solve what if problems. All you need to ensure is for this to work is that you've got a set cell that contains a formula, which is our PMT formula. We've got a changing cell that contains a variable. So our changing cell can be how many months we want to pay back. And then we have a target value that you want to achieve. So for example, if we want to pay back a monthly repayment of $3,000, then we want to see how many the terms of months will reduce by when we do this. So even formulas with several variables can be used, although you can only vary one of the variables at a time. So this example uses goal seek with the PMT function. So our goal seek, you have to be in the, the um, cell with the formula. Okay, so this is our set cell. So then what you need to do is go to your data tab, your what if analysis and your goal seek. So you can see we've got our set cell, which is B7. So remember, you've got to be in the cell where the formula is based. So what is our two value? So when we're looking at our value, this is the variable. This is the target value that you want to achieve. So I've got $2,843.90. So if I can pay back per month $3,000 by changing the set cell terms in months. So this is the variable I want to change. I click on OK and it should find me a solution. So if I pay back $3,000 on a monthly repayment per month, my terms in months will reduce. So I'm just gonna go back to using my formatting and just to reduce my decimal places to make it into an integer number. So by changing my monthly payment to $3,000, my terms in month have come down to 212. So I'm just gonna do that one more time. So I'm gonna click on my data tab, I'm gonna click in my what if analysis, and I'm going to go to my goal seek. So in my goal seek, I've got my set cell. My value is $2,000. By changing the cell terms in month, and I click on OK. Can it find me a solution? No, it can't find me a solution. Because within the loan amount, with the interest rate and with the terms in month, it's saying to me that really that's too low of a payment for to pay it back in the terms of month that we've discussed with the 8% interest rate with the loan amount of 340,000. So I'm just gonna go back, what if analysis goal seek to the value of 3,500 by changing the cell terms in month and it should find me a solution it's brought my terms and months down to 157 and my monthly repayments are 3,500. And that is how you use your goal seek. So when we've reached the desired um, value, when the goal seek stops, the worksheet itself will currently show the new values. So you've got to be careful if you don't want those values to change, you need to copy the data and place it in a new worksheet. Then you'll always have the original data Otherwise, your data is going to update. So a more sophisticated version of Goal Seek is Solver, which is also found on the data tab. So this enables you to multiple change cells and it will apply constraints to control the outcome, unlike your Goal Seek, which allows you only to change one value.